Hi guys, welcome back to Hope's Instant Kitchen. My sweet husband bought me the Instant Pot air fryer lid that goes on the six quart Instant Pot. So today we're going to unbox this and we're gonna test it out on some chicken wing drumettes. First, we're going to pressure cook the wings in the Instant Pot and then we're going to put the air fryer lid on at the end and crisp them up. Let's get started. So on the side of the box, it shows that we are getting the air fryer lid, a broil or dehydration tray, we're getting an air fryer basket, a base for the air fryer basket. Alright, because I'm so short, I had to move my box down to the floor so that I could open it. And right on top we have our pamphlet that comes with every Instant Pot item. We have here a little hot pad that you set your air fryer lid on when you're done using it and you remove it off the top of your Instant Pot. This is to protect your countertops. We have here a little tray Here is the air fryer basket and base. Last piece of packaging out of here. And there she is. There's our air fryer lid. Okay, so there's what the underside of the lid looks like. And it has a little handle for you to use to set it on top of the Instant Pot. The buttons on top here, we have a start button, a button for the time. We have a dehydrate button, reheat, roast, bake, broil, or air fry. And we have temperature buttons up and down and a cancel button. I'm going to use the stainless steel liner when using the air fryer lid. You do not want to use the ceramic non-stick liner that can be bought for Instant Pots. So only the stainless steel liner. You're going to place your Instant Pot basket that comes with the air fryer lid inside of your base. Place your food inside and select the mode that you want to use. You're going to select your temperature time and hit start. If at any time during the cooking process you want to flip your food, you can just pull the lid off of the Instant Pot. You can place it on the protective pad that comes with the lid and it will stay turned on and it will just pause whatever it's doing for up to three minutes. If you leave it off for longer than three minutes, the lid's going to go into standby mode and you're going to have to start over when you put it back on the Instant Pot. Now the plug has this little rectangle um, thing around it. And the reason for that is because when you plug this in, you're not supposed to have your pressure cooker plugged in at the same time. You're supposed to have your pressure cooker completely turned off and unplugged when you're using the air fryer lid. So when you set this on top, it plays a little jingle to let you know that you have it on there correctly. When the Instant Pot lid beeps halfway through your cooking time, that's an indication that you need to flip your food. So you'll remove the lid, place it on the protective heat pad that comes with it, Flip your food around and then place the lid back on within three minutes and it'll pick back up right where it left off cooking. But what we're going to go ahead and do is put some chicken wing drumettes in our six quart pressure cooker. I'm going to cook them for about 12 minutes and then we will use the air fryer lid. So let's get started. 
pot, I have added some olive oil. I'm going to come down to the control panel and I'm going to hit the saute button to start getting that oil heated up. Once the oil has heated up, I'm going to go ahead and add in two packages of chicken wing drumettes. So, just like this. And then what I'm going to do is add some seasonings. And I'm just going to saute them for a minute. Alright, so my oil has heated up and I've got two packages of I've got two packages of wing drum eggs in my instant pot with a little bit of olive oil. I'm stirring them around to make sure they're kind of coated in the oil. And I'm going to now add in some seasonings. I'm going to add in a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, some salt, pepper, and some paprika. So in goes our seasonings. Some paprika. garlic powder and you can do this to your liking you don't have to use these exact seasonings use whatever you like and last but not least some salt and give these a stir Get that seasoning mixed around That smells really good already. The garlic powder smells delicious. Right, so we are just getting that seasoning mixed around. Next what we're going to do is add in one cup of water to the bottom of our instant pot. We're going to come down to our control panel and we're going to hit the cancel button to turn the saute function off and we're going to add our lid to our instant pot. We're going to put our pressure valve into the ceiling position. Come down to our control panel. We're going to hit the manual button and I'm going to go for 12 minutes. Usually it would take about 10 minutes to cook some wings, but since mine were still just a little bit frozen, I'm going to go for 12 minutes. We're going to let these cook for 12 minutes and I'll see you back when we are done. Alright, so now that our 12 minutes has passed, we're going to go ahead and come down to our control panel and hit the cancel button. We're going to do a quick release. That means that we're going to go ahead and turn our steam valve from sealing to venting and release the steam. Okay, so now that our pin has dropped, we're going to go ahead and actually unplug our pot so that we can plug in the air fryer lid and we're going to remove our lid from our instant pot. Okay, so I have unplugged my instant pot and removed the lid. So there's the wings. What I'm going to do now is transfer the wings into this air fryer basket that came with the air fryer lid. While the wings were cooking I've gone ahead and washed out the air fryer basket and the hot pad that came with the air fryer lid. So what I'm going to do is transfer the wings to the air fryer basket and I'll see you back here once that's done. Okay, so we have our wings inside of the air fryer basket that came with our air fryer lid. I did not empty out the liquid that was left in the bottom of my Instant Pot from cooking the wings. I left it all in there because the air fryer basket has that little stand on the bottom of it. Alright, so our lid is plugged in. We're going to just set it on top of the instant pot. Alright, so we placed the lid on. It played its jingle so it is on there right. And what we're going to do is go ahead and I'm going to hit the air fry button. Temperature, I'm going to go down to 
we'll try 375. And for time, let's see. We definitely don't need to do it for 20 minutes. We'll go for 10 minutes. We'll flip it after about five minutes and see how it goes from there. So I'm gonna hit the start button. And listen to that, how exciting. Okay, so after about five minutes of air frying, we will take the lid off and see what we're looking like. Now I've already cleaned off this hot pad, so it's ready to go. This hot pad not only protects your countertops with this side, but this side serves as a cover. So when you're storing your air fryer lid, this locks onto the bottom of it. So what I've done here is I have some Texas Pete extra mild wing sauce, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave the wings naked and you know, if people wanna dip them in ranch, if they wanna dip them in the sauce, you can pretty much do whatever you want with the wings. You can dip them in barbecue sauce. Um, I'm just going to leave them naked today, but maybe in the future videos I might do like lemon pepper wings or something like that. Okay, so we are at the five minute mark. We're going to remove the air fryer lid. And this actually seems like it's quieter than my Vortex Plus air fryer. We're going to take the lid off. And it's beeping. We're going to set it over here on the hot pad. And look at that. So now the steam is covering the camera, but we can, you know, flip these over and crisp up the other side. And if you want to adjust your temperature, you can, but I'm just going to give these a flip. And again, we want to get that lid back on before the three minute time period is up. So I'm going to flip these over, put the lid back on and show you what they look like after 10 minutes of frying. I also wanted to play with this and see if I could turn the temperature up while it's cooking. So I went from 375 up to 385 and it does let you adjust the temperature while it's cooking. Now I've noticed with my Vortex air fryer oven, it will not let you adjust the temperature once it has started cooking. You have to hit the cancel button and turn the machine back on and start over. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna let this finish up for the last five minutes and I'll see you back when the five minutes is up. Okay, so our 10 minutes is up now. It's saying end cool. So I'm gonna wait for it to cool down and for the fan to turn off before I remove the lid. And so not only is this air fryer lid quieter than the Vortex, air fryer oven that I have. It's also quieter than my microwave. Alright, our fan has turned off and it's just showing the word end. We're going to go ahead and remove the lid. So you just lift up on the little handle back here. Lift your lid. It's going to do its little jingle and place the lid on your pad that comes with it. And look at those. Again, every time I do that, the steam gets in the way. So just from lifting these with the tongs, I can tell that they're nicely golden brown and crispy on the outside, which is just what we want. I think some of these could use a little bit longer, so maybe what I need to do next time is remove some of them that are on the top and let the ones on the bottom get a little bit of time under the air fryer. But it takes so little time to use it that you could actually you know, put it on and let it run a little bit longer. But they look absolutely beautiful. So overall, the air fryer lid is quieter than the air fryer. The only thing that I can see happening is, like I said, having to remove some of these from the top and allowing them to just fry in maybe smaller batches, put less in the basket next time and save some to the side so I can do them in a couple of batches um, but I think it worked pretty great I'm probably going to take some of these out of the top and go ahead and let the ones on the bottom get a little bit crispier and other than that so far I'm really liking it and I will continue to use it in future videos make sure to give this video a thumbs up 
subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.